Salvo Mark II is ready to go. Maintain the ship's current position. Increase propulsion power to its theoretical maximum. Full speed ahead. It's still descending. A folly at go to shoot his ambitions. Intend to drop his entire territory into the core. Looks like it. As it begin to fall again, the shocks sh shake this entire area and my body with it. The feeling of falling grows so strong I can feel it even though I'm stored in the ring. The regalia sounds even more in emergency falling to my head. The moon cell itself is screaming and every second grows more and more desperate. Upon engulfing argument of your nice starts carrying carrying out the absolute worst case scenario to a moon saw time time. Then go in and recharge this thing. It's my mom all over in my room. Don't be dead on me halfway. Now for the moon saw automaton. Archimedes didn't plan to drop the, just a fragment of the umbral star onto the moon. He intends to drop the entire zero dark. I knew it. And so the sky shoots past us. The sea of stars goes more distant with every passing second. The entirety of the field and the field are starting standing on has started crashing downwards. This is more than an attack. This is a suicide mission. It looks like Archimedes Bonds was backed so far into the corner that into a corner that he decided to had to break himself along with the moon, taking out all lies and out the lives of and civilizations on Earth's surface while he was at it. And he's probably I'm probably to see unless someone stops this super mass this super mass moving well beyond terminal velocity. Oh ta da! What's wrong? I have my thanks for delivering the decisive law. I see how we were fighting Archimedes. You were just fighting as well. The whole time. For you to deliver such a brilliant strike to the belt, and being that one, and bound you. I have witnessed firsthand your determination, your will. You are, at this moment, undoubtedly the most heroic of all. You should rest here, my Praetor, and I will close the curtain on the final act. Praetor, and I will... That's right. Take it easy, Alta. I already possess the means to the send. The power I now wield is not my own. It is newly reborn from the old of an antiquity. See the stars, open your eyes, and behold. The Sword of Mars, OMG, is about to get epic. Saber is facing off with a fragment of the Umbral Star. No matter if we are in absolute danger, or if we face an impossible dilemma, she will never hesitate, even though my memories are still fly, this is something I'm certain of. Saber will not give up. Even if she stops for the briefest moment, she carries on, burning like fire, blossoming like a flower, and smiling with all the forces of the sun itself. I'm going to charge up my phone. There we go. I guess I don't know there's a dial. I will always lend my hand as a mas as my master, even at the end of the world. No, that's not right. I have correct, correct myself. This, this is not the end. It won't be. No more so than when we fight in the moon cell core, when we battle through the labyrinth of cherry blossoms. No matter where we are, we always pull through. No matter what, we'll never give up. We'll use anything we can. Whether it's a code cast, the moon cell, or a noble phantasm. We don't have a noble phantasm at the moment, unless the stage has it. If we can, it's boss stage time. If we can reach it for 
and reach for it. Even the power of the gods is no exception. Yes, exactly so my creator. Oh, you! And resist the uh, far off into the gods. Into the gods. Lend me your ears, the Empyrean. God of Olympus. Now is the time to bestow your strength on us. Using the sword of Mars as a catalyst, turn my talents and passion to fire and give me heavenly form. Name of the moon cracks for isn't it? Correction, I do not wish for the power of the war. I got to that. After all, I want nothing to do with Mars. The power of war. Alright, it will befit me. Power that I believe in the that I hold most dear in the deepest of my heart is love. The power of love. That's uh truthfully. I am preferring the music, but I cannot defeat this enemy. Glorious music alone. And so... Yes, a move. Indeed. Then I shall manifest the power of Venus. Ah, I see. Makes sense. Venus would be a perfect match for Sarah since she earnestly expresses love as much as she seeks it. I don't know how important it is for the god to be we can power, but then again, I've never even heard of a hero spirit being able to summon a god spirit in the first place. Well, there's a first time for everything, but it's no use worrying about whether there's precedent for, precedent for this sort of thing when the world's on the line. Right now, we have to do everything we can, using the entirety of the Regalia's resources and the Sword of Mars to access a higher plane. We're building our own rainbow bridge, not to my mixed pan pantheons. If we're if we were summoning a hero spirit, we'd access the throne of heroes in a similar way, gain a cyber frame for the servant, and bring them into Seraph. But that's only possible because of the incredible stable connection between the moon cell, the supercomputer that records even every, everything on Earth, and the hero spirits whose existence are deeply rooted in the human history. I have no idea how things will go in terms of connect, connecting to the gods, but Saber has more to say about compatibility. I believe it's important to everything, my predator. Now, come to me, goddess of the golden star! Sail Mary. Let's do it. I will allow you to lend me your power here. Now is the time to unleash the vengeance you have decided for 14 millennia. Check my photon ray! Hello? Saber! Nero! Oh, and she. Sunny Light. Sunny Sunny Light. Why I don't want to do anything like. Here, Brian. Blooming proudly. With the white rose who celebrates the days of love. Is she Saber Bride? I've been the man of all. I've missed the man of all. And the of Venus is down to the stars of the stage of the stars. It is this far? I should take the shrimps in the class. And so we. Oh, empty that armor. I don't recognize it. And so. She has wings. OMG. And very specific. Top. To the Venus! The miraculous heroic knight. I am she who races across the skies. I think I saw it in Grand Order. I was going to be in Grand Order, but whatever. Awesome! Saber Venus. Putting the speeding stars at her back, my saber appears before me never before. As never before. I don't know what kind of goddess Venus is. Even if there is a basis for her existence, I have no idea what her actual exploits were, what shape she took, but saber clad in that platinum armor truly shines like a goddess. I'm actually at a loss for words. Beauty is speechless. Why do you look so troubled, my creator? This form proves the strength of our unity to the moon, the gods, and the ember star like. What could possibly trouble you? Come, give me your honest appraisal. Specific decision? Okay. The sight of you. I'm not allowed to be the sight of you. I, I don't know that. Thank you. I, I think it's thank you much. I'm speechless here.
I'll just say thank you for now. Thank you very much, my Venus. This is a better time than ever to be inside the ring. I'm a little beyond enthralled or even entranced. Hmm? What do you mean? Her armor, her wings, to see her with any part of this outfit would have been stunning, but I never imagined I would be at such a loss to see Saber adorned with all of it at once. I understand now for the first time how deadly weapon beauty can be, that's right. I am using the full extent of my power to the regard to do something as vigorous as the manif as manifest the God Spirit in this world, but I have no regrets. If it's to keep this form in this world, I can run my magic to full power forever. Oh, she's blushing. Um, yes. You sell that a lot. She's embarrassed. Thank you. Yes, reality. I meant every word of it. All of it? Yes. I kind of handled the heat of the burns within my cheeks when you praised it. Nana, ah, oh, how cute she's blushing. Nana. Hold your back for now. I'll step back now. Although, wait. I'm actually asking you to retain my crazy. What should I do, my creator? Fin finish the ember stuff one later. Let's save you later. Let's give you no problem to continue this later. After this battle, I urge you to sing our praise to your heart's content. This final form is only for the final battle, I'm, I'm presuming. It's too far. A moment to observe you in full. Arc of the stars. Your presence is indeed imp imposing. An malevolent force who will crush moons and consume stars and devour life and civilization's life. Perhaps we should cover cover for you. But not today. But I know. That time to this, the heroes of myth and legend. They feel themselves a courage, bravely straying into the den of monstrous beasts that harm all that they love. Now, let us push even forward, and for my predator. Final chapter, chapter 7, Soaring Golden Theater. Unknown subtitle. Let's end it. How is this battle gonna, take, gonna go down? I don't think we need a tutorial for this. If there is one, I'm taking it. It's impossible to break the outer armor. They need to destroy it from within. So I have to go inside and defeat it? And then how that works. Name is Archer. The path that leads inside. I can see it open. It opened after that last attack. It opened. You mean underneath it? Hurry. Get inside. Ah, we that little crack opening. But nope, too late. Now it's blocking its in. It's blocking it the entrance and it's got a defense. Damn it. Those tentacles are in the way, because that's destroying them first. It's connected to the tentacles that are blocking. Entrance. If you destroy them, it should open up. Got it. Destroy the semi line. Just as planned. Aha! If you attack them, an entrance will open. You should be able to see them. You should be able to see the entrance. Amazing power. Is that good enough? Yep, there we go. Ah, there's the path. Entrance is open. Go. Destroy from the inside. Arigato, Archer. Up I go, and in we go. I'm working it. Charge into the starship. Okay, but I can't see. Everything is white. Oh, wait, that was just... That was, huh? I'm just speaking. Fine, keep attacking. I'm just complete. I'm attacking.
Oh no, Silver's dead. Don't worry, Silver, I got a plan. Not all three, the command side of Silver. What do I do? What do I do? Lee? That's, that's gonna be a risky gamble. Five hundred minutes. It's all or nothing. I should wait until I get to the core. I'm just gonna be on this. Finish it! Another lock! Burst! I'm gonna die one time. That's it? No, it's not over yet. It's teleporting. Wait, it's in. It went. It's down there now? How am I gonna get there? There's more than one core, multiple cores. Throw the second one, Saber. Hi. Tell up, what the? It's sucking me in! Or some. Explore. On the side of the. One core, move to the other side of the starship. And Okay, this one. Other side. I'll save this for the last one. We'll have to do it for now. Okay, back it up there. Go, Saber! Venus! Excellent. Now to get inside. Or almost. Wait for it. Yes. Good job. Engines open. Take two. This is it. Are you ready? No. There's no need to insult you like that. Yeah, she's ready. Don't know how long the phone is going to last, but... John to the starship. Done. Now we're back to square one. With my health holds out. I probably should have that healing method. Main team playing Final Strike. Nice positions. How's about to run on your turn on? After dealing damage to it, it teleports again. Or is this the final final? Yes, did it! A, B, A, B, X, A, X, X, A. Nice combo. Level 39! Final level.
Now to reach at the end of the game. Not the final final of the game, but I mean. Save a Venus. There should be a playable character outside the game, until the final boss. Marlin, City of Lost Destiny. City of Calamity. Durango. Time for the ending. The convergence of mana from a higher plane. With the matrix computing function in the middle of the moon cell. Wanna bet? Multiple barriers, firewall. And a shield set for complete multi dimensional defense. And this is your ultimate plan. We are able to completely deflect it. Then lose your attack. I will obliterate your hope along with your arrogance. Saber Venus. Don't make me laugh. It is you who will be obliterated, Scholar. Continue to evolve in the face of the unchanging. That's what love is. If you believe that you can analyze it, then do your best. Burn this sight into your very eyes. Don't forget this, even if you arrive in the darkest depths of the universe. The victory of our Earth, the combination of all our hopes and dreams, not the ages. The fruit born of our efforts, of our life and civilization. In the stage of splendid of dark, that he just disguised the far off star. Here, my love, no vengeance. As to Domus Odeo. Or. Charges mm, Domus Odeo. The Aurora. Fear. Fear of Duralium. Final Fast! I agree. The Emperor of Raining Blades. Duncan Cocky. They did it! Hey! Oh no. The connection must have cut off. And this one was getting good. Don't be picky, at least you're one. You know exactly how you feel. But don't complain, Trishan. Yeah, I feel that the leash has fulfilled our duty. Good work, Nero. Let's see what the other servants are doing. This. I've done it, my sovereign. I'm proud of you as my note. As the one who guided Leo's journey. And this, I confirm the enemy has gone silent. Not the, not only has it ceased moving, but Saga Frame is starting to disappear as well. That's our Frame. But not just the enemy. Unless like all of the Zero Duck is coming to a stop. Karma. Having gathered the gods on your side, I'm impressed, Emperor. Karma's impressed, nice. And as for Berserk, Blue Blue. And name the searcher and Tama. What do you mean? The enemy present in the Zero Dark is gone? It feels less like we were defeated in battle and more like they were swept away at all at once. The flower is popping in the sky. It was probably exactly as Otto said. All the Umbo forces in the Zero Dark. Oh yes, I don't know if you recall when the friend of the star was destroyed, so... So what? And you're victorious. I'm the star. Having lost his objective, according to the wander in the blackness for the time being. Here is me. So that means Miss Saber has destroyed that thing after all. That's right. She's done with the gods and one of that counts as blasphemy. 
And I cheat her on it. I was too impossible with someone too stupid to know it was impossible. I worked out well. Right. So I worked with her for attempting to assert my perfect wisdom. Wife them. So, friend. Going for and then earn their victory for sure. Yeah, they did. Nice work. And that's where I commit is. So what happens now? The final light that shot forth from the saber Venus utterly destroyed the arc of the stars on inside. It's obliterated. The mission is told. There is no trace of its walls or tentacles. All of it is gone. Even if it had some sort of reconstruction for your regeneration, it would be impossible for it to regenerate now. That's right. Although the Zero Dark still exists, the only reason the Moon Cell had originally kept this area was to stop the Ark from interfering with anything. It won't be long now until the entire Ark area is deleted. Emble Star's territory, Alter's prison for all those years, is now gone. This place is no longer of use to anyone, not even the Moon Cell or Seraph. I think it's only right that it fades away. What about Ultra? She's still disappearing now. Ultra, oh, this battle has ended. And we are the victors in true and totally. That's what you feel about for us and for you as well. All thanks to this very sword, by the sword and by your generosity, we struck the enemy down. Arigato, Altra. Arigato, Nero. She's smiling. Yeah, she's disappearing now. Where is she? Huh? They're particles of the high density spiritrons that form the tiny melt of the cyber frame. She's crumbling again. But this is the exact same thing we saw on the record. The titan continues to fall, even everything that formed the person she was. Her mind, body, and soul, everything that tied her to a seraph is disappearing. She's crumbling. She's crumbling. It's as if tears are, are raining down. The tears of the Greek goddess to save the world. The tears of the heavens shed by the stars that watch over us. They pour upon us endlessly. No one could stop these tears from falling. The cyber frame, having lost the mana needed to live, falls to the zero dark as a total as a delusion of inorganic mass, and then by by bit it disappears. All while sparkling within this ephemer ephemeral glow, glowing light of the spiritrons. I know why this is happening. We're the we're the ones who made it happen. We should have known that if we destroyed this a fraternable star. So deeply tied to Ultra, she too will be destroyed. Yeah, I saw that coming. The Ark formed the base of the Titan's existence. With the Ark destroyed, the results were inevitable. But still. That kind of creature. Though I see no tears on your cheeks, your Christian is unmistakably one of lamentation. But this scene calls not for sorrow, but for celebration. Pray you. Banish your grief, my praiser. Saber's actions reflect her words. There are no tears on her face, not a shred of doubt. Why, even though she stands before this overflowing endless rain, that cruelly accelerates the torrent of debris. Her golden hair is swaying, her emerald eyes sparkling like jewels, formed by her burning passion. And quietly watch over the crumbling altar. It's not that she doesn't see what's going on. Saber is surely seeing the storm on her eyes, so why is she smiling? I'm afraid to. No one else in the world can bear the next space. You'll never see it through until the end. It's huge, isn't that? It's like. And it breaks. But in place of it. 
Alta. Alta. No way. Throughout the cracks in the core of the cyber frame, I see a little girl. She's dressed in white from head to toe. Hers, in part, just a little revealing, revealing eyes that burn as red as the stars. It's Alta. Three, there's no mistaking it. There she is, younger than before, but lying right there, the tiny continues to fall into ruin around us. And yet, how is she still alive? For a moment, I can barely comprehend it. All I can do is look at back at Saber. Maybe it was her wish. And then finally I get it. I get why Saber was smiling all this time. Oh, my apologies. I seem to get an explanation. I was in the way of Black Bear's battle. I thought it'd be better for you to see this for yourself. I want to put my promise to Alter. I've been able to save the body of the freighter. And so I swore that I would not make the same mistake twice. Three. I destroyed the limbo star and severed the command line that linked it to Alter. The might of Venus does not exist to the few on enemies. They exist to save the ones you love. Although her eyes show as a white tiny cone from the dust. Her true soul is what you see before you. The lack of light she uses to cut that connection just before she destroyed the ark. Brilliant, Saber. The thing she had been able to adjust, adjust for something so small while committing such an overwhelming, unprecedented level of dimensional magic. But why did she not tell me about any of that before? Do you want to use the point? Well, you see, at the time, using the entirety of your magical circuits and never keep the power of the Venus and Seraphim. So it was kind of a last minute thing. Not that I would surprise you or that I wanted to keep it a secret. <laughs> sure. Nor that I would hold that on the caution. It ceased to in case it failed to work, oh, so that she wasn't sure this would actually work. I knew that both you and I were so preoccupied with what was in front of us that I lacked my career with their own despair. I'm glad to tell you I'm sorry. Oh no, I didn't mean to blame you or anything. I just thought that we'd see her again. I just never thought we'd see her again, and yet here we are, all three of us. Open our eyes. Come away, opens her eyes, and all the way. They sparkle like rubies, I can see seeing myself reflected in them. Her eyes are kind as well, as beautiful. Saber. My master. Master. She's younger than Is this a dream? No. You have awakened from your dream. This is the world that makes you are meant to live. This is the future that you have won for yourself. Congrats. a sea of phantasms. I have the surface of the world. Hi, I Atara. I was very proud to be here with the reading. Wouldn't it be better to welcome home? But I am. Oh, you? Hey, you said. I am a vessel. Oh, so she's still going on about that. Okay. Oh, so she's gone. Not anymore. You are not an enemy of civilization. Why do you feed off life? Don't try to listen carefully to me. Okay. Okay. That body of yours is made of a girl. Based on information, the Earth's mind. Yeah. One could say you are the child of the Ambo Star. Like a reincarnation? Yeah. Kind of very absurd. I have something else entirely. The child is not their place of birth, but the path they are on. Your life being is mine, and so I shall promise you. And so I shall promise you. No one will show you need to destroy your subject. The wife will flourish among civilization to welcome you. 
Welcome to the world. Long days of love